This elegant Victorian-style bathroom owes a lot of its charm to the splendid antique-looking leaded and beveled glass window. But did you know that this window isn't antique at all? In fact, it's brand new. At Fashion Glass & Mirror in DeSoto, Texas, they're still making leaded glass windows the old-fashioned way, by hand. They're also creating works of art with the not-so-old-fashioned technique of sandblasting. But the results are timeless. Fantastic glass murals that can add style, beauty, and grace to any room in the home. Bob Lane has been designing and building leaded glass windows for more than 20 years. Each design starts with a pattern drawn by hand, and each piece of glass is traced and cut by hand. Well, Bob, there are a lot of pieces of glass that goes into a leaded glass window. Uh, show me how you cut a piece to fit. Sure. Uh, what we use to make the bevels is quarter inch uh, plate glass. And we simply lay this on the pattern that we've drawn out. And the cutter is filled with oil, which leaks down through this cutter tip, which keeps the cut cool and allows the glass to break easier. We simply trace the pattern with the cutter and it scores or gently scratches the glass. And along that score is where the glass is gonna break. Well, it cuts pretty easy up here. It sure does. I suppose the challenge is breaking it without ruining the piece. Yeah, if, if you've made a good score, it should, it should break pretty easily. And we're tapping on the glass where we made the score on the back side. And what this does is it, it takes that score and turns it into a fracture right where you scored it. Now the thicker the glass, the harder it is to cut? Yes, it is. Some, uh, the glass uh, can get up to an inch thick. Uh, when it gets that thick, you have to use a hammer to break it out. I can't imagine breaking glass with a hammer, with a hammer. and it working out. And it works out. <laughs> and if we've done it right, it will fit back into the pattern. I have a little bit hanging off here. And what I'm going to do is take my nippers along that score line and pull it off. Now we have a, a rough cut of the final bevel, and from here it goes to the beveling line. It will take Bob about four hours to cut all the glass needed for this pattern. But the beveling process is much more labor intensive. It will take about 30 hours to grind and smooth the edges of every piece of glass in the pattern. Five different grinding wheels are used to buff each piece of glass to perfection. Now we have a finished bevel. And the entire surface has been ground flat and with a very consistent line that runs all the way around the bevel. It's so smooth. Just like the original glass. After every piece of glass has been cut and beveled, it's time to start building the window. This will take approximately eight hours depending upon the size of the pattern. The glass is wrapped in a metal caming that's in the shape of an H on the end, and it simply is bent to fit the shape of the glass and wrapped to hold it securely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna nip it here, take off a little more so the metal will fit in on the other side. It appears to be pretty soft. It is, it's very soft. What do they make this out of? Uh, in the old days, it used to be 100% lead. Uh, today, they make it out of a much safer metal alloys that's soft and keeps the hazard down. Then it fits into the window and it's held into place by a temporary stay until we're ready to solder the window. Now these are just horseshoe nails. Correct. And we use horseshoe nails. Round nails uh, allow the, the, the lead to bend as you nail it. These flat horseshoe nails keep it very secure and keep it from moving. After every piece is in place, the lead is welded together using ordinary solder. The window is now ready for installation. For some applications, the leaded glass is laminated between two panes of thermal glass for added strength and energy efficiency. The sandblasted murals require less manpower, but a lot more preparation. The finished product is actually called etched glass and the designs are limited only by the imagination. But in order to get the idea onto the glass, you have to start at the drawing board. And that's where the talents of etched glass artist Donald Vaughn are first revealed. I'll start off with a sketch of a horse, say for instance this horse right here, and I get a fundamental sketch of how the artwork may play out to show to the customer. 
Through an elaborate process involving photoacetates and an overhead projector, an outline of the sketch is transferred to the glass. Now it's time to suit up for sandblasting. The protective suit Don wears is actually made out of the same material that's used as weather wrap on the outside walls of a house. This will shield the skin from the harsh materials used during the sandblasting. He also wears a helmet to protect his eyes and lungs. The sandblasting machine works a lot like a high pressure water hose. The sand is actually a very fine material called aluminum oxide, the same material used on very fine sandpaper. Using about 90 pounds of pressure, Don is essentially digging a trench in the glass. And the results are remarkable. It can take more than 100 hours of sandblasting to create one of these murals. So if you're looking to add some originality to your new home, Fashion Glass may be your window of opportunity.